Next, I'd like to briefly cover lucid dreaming as awareness. I did not get much information about this aspect of meditation. Maybe you can explore it and learn more on your own. Lucid dreaming means that the dreamer is conscious of or aware that they are in a dream. This becomes another chance to be observant of the actions of your mind. One possible way to achieve lucid dreaming is to focus on the breath as you fall asleep. This awareness can transfer over into the dream state. Waking meditation practice can help increase how often you are able to lucid dream. I'd also like to briefly mention the topic meditation and non-identity. The monks didn't have time to go into very much detail about the concept of non-identity, but I also wanted to mention it. This is another topic that you may want to learn more about on your own. In a way, non-identity means to find the self by learning what is not the self through mindfulness. This is letting go of the persona without and within. Some Buddhism practices don't believe in a soul or true self. Others do. This can be the concept that we are actually not individuals. If we stop focusing on the I and stop clinging to identities that we must defend, which need constant maintenance, then we can see that we are part of everything around us. In other words, labels and identities such as class, race, sex, human or non-human separate and divide us. This causes suffering. If we let go of those, then there is nothing separating us. But this is hard to achieve in our current society and social conditioning. Identity can also be thought of as temporary. Why? We will die and we will be something else when we're born. Everything is temporary because everything is constantly in a process of change. And this includes identity and what labels we currently apply in this life. Impermanence is a common concept to meditate on. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.